body. Um, the way that animals are being farmed and the way that animals are being killed nowadays and just the general hideous kind of behaviour, treatment of animals and this kind of thing. Um, the way I just saw like a video online, people just will do terrible things to animals um, for views, for fun, whatever. Now, most people, thankfully, are good and some like I'm not against animal products being consumed per se, I'm not an extremist or anything, and I do think that vegans and vegetarians can sometimes get more angry than, but I totally understand the anger, but they sometimes get more angry towards us who are not vegans. Um, they get more angry than perhaps they should in inverted commas, but, but I'm t all behind them. But the thing is, sometimes I've not been able to join with vegans in helping their cause because they got too angry with me because I wasn't vegan anymore. So like, I've been vegan twice in my life. And the thing is, what I want to say people is I'm, I'm now going to, at least start reducing, I'm going to, I'm going to again reduce, because I've done this animal product reducing thing. Um, you know, like this Meat Free Monday, encouraged by Paul McCartney. Oh, God, I'm not sure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I believe God's behind all this kind of thing, right? The reason is, is because whatever God may have said in scripture about how he said to Noah, you can now eat meat, because let's face it, when, when Noah came off the ark with all his family and all the animals, there wasn't the vegetation, it had been destroyed by the flood. So God said you can now eat meat because you, you had to eat the meat to survive, right? But what people need to understand is that doesn't mean we do whatever... That mean, It doesn't mean anything goes. And, I, and apparently there is some evidence documented that... Well, I don't know if I should go into history. I don't know. I don't know. There may be people that are Christian, like famous Christians in the past who were vegetarian and vegan, this kind of thing, possibly. But let's not worry about that so much. Let's focus on the fact that, because whether someone else does something or not, it doesn't mean, it doesn't say whether you should do it or not. But the fact, and it can help people think, like, you know, but, I mean, some people say Jesus was vegan or vegetarian. I know that Jesus ate fish because the Bible says so. But the point is, the point is, Given the, the way animals are treated, I don't think God's behind that. I don't think God's okay with it. And so what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is, and there is verses in the Bible about how we should treat animals. Like, And obviously people show their heart, they show the kind of person they are by the way they want to treat animals. I don't want to support and back and be behind the, way this, the ways in which animals are being treated when they're farmed, when they're killed. It's not being done in a humane way enough adequately i also used to be involved with um animal rights groups animal rights charities i've got notifications coming up because i've been arguing with people today and i just said look we've discussed this enough but personally i'm going vegan again you know and i said i said the discussion is ending for me because i've said enough i've said i've made all my points that i need to make there's nothing else that needs to be said people uh anyway i've been having arguments with people today but and people are trying to say, oh, you're wasting your time. I'm not wasting my time because I can see in reality, and I, I, and I do see this often. I think God uses me, um, usually concerning things not involving animals, usually humans, but definitely animals would come into it as well. But the thing is, because I haven't been so focused on the animal rights, animal welfare campaigns in recent years, I've been involved with it, okay? But people do change. Be people do change because God works through me. And even if God... even if <laughs> People change anyway, regardless of, I don't know, maybe it's always God. And I want to give God the honour and the praise and the glory, hallelujah, because he's, God is amazing. God really does help, hallelujah. But I've been really feeling, I think, I've been really feeling drawn by God to, like, there's a book that someone gave me on vegan cooking, and I thought, oh, that, that, that I didn't expect. I didn't expect to receive that gift. And though I've kind of left it by the wayside, I haven't got round to kind of dealing with it, looking at it. I felt like the Holy Spirit is drawing me to the book. And it's really interesting. And then I see this horrific video come up. And I've seen videos in the past as well that have influenced me. Um, there's, a, there's, a vi there's something called Earthlings. Hallelujah. I just saw 441 on the timer. Hallelujah. Something called Earthlings I would recommend to people. But also, but be warned, it will upset you if you're a compassionate person. Okay. 
But it doesn't matter which video we see. Well, in a way it does, in a way, because Earthlings particularly amazing and fantastic. Earthlings is so amazing. And it, you wouldn't believe... It's just unreal, unbelievable, the way people are treating animals, our production system, the way our production systems are treating animals. And by the way, halal, um, people, people come against and attack halal and what's the other one people attack? The Jewish one, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Kosher, kosher. People say that's more cruel. In reality, in practice, anyway, I don't know if I should get into this. I think it's more humane. The halal and the kosher production is more humane because they're very, very careful, very delicate, very interested in making sure that they treat the animals kindly, as nicely as possible. Because they're religious, the people that are religious, they're diligent. They're conscious that God is watching them. They're more careful how they treat the animals. Our production system, including in Britain, I hate to say, can sometimes leave a lot to be desired, often leave a lot to be desired. Investigations have been carried out which show it's appalling and horrendous how our food is being treated, okay? I want animals to have the best possible life they can have and I want the animals to be killed in the most humane way, okay? By going vegetarian, like, I would say vegan, not vegetarian, but vegetarian's a good start. I definitely would say to people, vegan, go the whole way, as much as you can. If you could only manage, manage one day a week, or if you could only manage going vegetarian for a while, or whatever it is, definitely veganism rather than vegetarianism. I'll tell you why, because dairy cows suffer as much and more than meat cows. Dairy cows suffer more, arguably, than, I think they do, suffer more than meat cows. The reason it helps, because I used to think, what's the point of ever being vegetarian or vegan? How, what, how, how can it save the animals? This is, this is people's logic. Because they haven't been educated enough, and I'm not having a go at them. When you start reading up on these things, you, you get educated, and you realise it does help. It really, really does help. Because we're all having, we're all consuming too much meat, and we're all consuming too much animal products, which means the production's going too fast. And because it's going too fast then it's creating the cruelty increases when you're going too fast and they're using machines they're using machines and it's just not the same as a caring human hand and particularly a religious caring oh, i'm gonna come out and say it okay jews and muslims are more caring towards animals than the ordinary person of your country Okay, so halal, <laughs> halal and kosher. You know, I may even do that. I may sort of try and get halal and kosher products if I. I tell you what it is. It's the reason I stopped being vegan is is very hard when you're out and about. Um, doesn't mean you still can't do it at home, but I just began to feel oh, it's so hard, it's too hard. Sometimes people receive persecution. Um, people get all kinds of persecution because they care about animals. They all, people get all kinds of persecution because they want to do the right thing. Um, this, as the saying goes, no good deed goes unpunished, right? People will, do, people will do good things and they get persecuted in various ways. I don't know whether to go into to it, but say you've got children at school and this kind of thing, you know, it's like people get funny if your child decides they want to be vegan, this kind of thing, right? People get all kinds of, you know, you'll be persecuted to some level for being vegan or people will say you're making too much of a fuss or whatever. And that's caused me to, 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 to give up at times, but I've remained vegan in spirit all these years, okay? And the point is, the point is, is we should minimize the amount of suffering to other living creatures it's like like someone said today it's necessary to eat meat to survive i respect that kind of view right that kind of view i can respect but then this person also said you therefore kill the animal in the most humane way possible because we're not doing it because we get off on hurting others you know we do it because we need meat to survive right i like this person's reasoning i respect their and understand their reasoning, their point of view, I, I, their way of thinking, I can respect, okay? Anything other than eating, 
Anything other than causing suffering to others because it's necessary. You should stop. End all suffering now.